Hi, Leo. It's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? March is here. It's March. Yay, March. One month closer to summer. I know all y'all in the southern states are like, ugh, we don't even want to get any closer to summer. So, Leo, let's just jump right into your reading, okay? Let's just jump right into your reading. Let's do that. So give me a second to channel and get centered here. And we're going to lay out 15 cards. We'll talk about them as I clarify them. Um, we will go back and read the story from the top. So if you don't want to work through all the clarifying, you can just skip straight forward. Okay. This is a collective reading for the sign of Leo, which means that this can't possibly be your reading. Astronomical. Literally, astronomical. That this could be your reading. Why? Because these cards are rooted in astrology. Everybody's chart, everybody's birth chart, the planetary positions of what's going on on the day, time, and place that you were born, the longitude, latitude, right? Um, everybody's chart is different, right? Everybody's chart. Even this person born on your birthday can have a different chart, okay? So this can't possibly be your personal reading. The only way to know your real journey is to have your cards read. Um, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com or reach out to anybody that floats your boat and have your story read, okay? You may see yourself anywhere in this reading, um, but it's not your reading, okay? All right. All right, everybody. This is a general reading for entertainment purposes only. If you want to know your real story, get your cards read. All right. So spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Leo with me, spirit. Leo the kitty. Spirit, what does Leo need to look out for? What does Leo need to look forward to? Spirit, what is coming down the road for Leo in the next energetic shift that is going to happen in their lives, spirit, whatever time frame that is for you is fine by me. What is going to come into Leo's life? What do they need to navigate through? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to with the next energetic shift that's happening for Leo? Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring these messages to Leo. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them in a way that Leo can apply to their lives. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle these cards three more times. I'm going to cut three times and I'll pull 15 from the top. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring these messages to Leo. And yes, you'll see that I, uh, as I was shuffling there, I have cards that flip in the deck while I'm shuffling, but I, I, I normally don't fix it. I just let it fly. So we're going to go one. Oh, that was not fair cut. Let's try that again, spirit. One, I guess it was two, three. All right. Bottom of the deck would be six of cups, family right? All right. Nine of wands, resistance, persistence, resilience. Four of pentacles. This is you being a little, a little locked down, a little insecure about the way things are going. The fool in reverse, reckless. The two of wands in reverse, fear of the unknown, to the star, hope, faith, purpose, renewal. The high priestess, subconscious mind, intuition, seven of swords, mental challenges, lovers in the center of your reading, a significant relationship. To the five of cups, talking about loss, regret, despair, disappointment. The five of wands, conflict, tension, loss, defeat. The Empress in reverse, a creative block, codependency. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration. The Queen of Wands in reverse, this is somebody, we'll see who that is. The King of Swords, some kind of truth. There you are, Leo, as the King of Wands. The Nine of Swords in reverse, hopelessness. The Four of Cups, contemplating, reevaluating. The Prince of Wands, this is about, in reverse, this is about frustration, delays, Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving, 
the chariot rolling forward the alchemist manifesting the two of pentacles balance prioritization the nine of cups the eight of pentacles that is beautiful seven of pentacles in reverse to the ten of cups all right and i think that's where we're going to stop with the root cards and now let's clarify this bad boy and see what we got going on i want you all to know straight up i swear i swear you can take the girl out of detroit but you can't take detroit out of the girl so i swear and if that bothers you or offends you um word you might want to tune out okay i might not swear but i might might not but i might okay all right nine of wands why oh look to the hierophant the cards are talking today boy okay so the nine of wands to the hierophant so the nine of wands talks about resistance it talks about resilience it talks about persistence it talks about something worth fighting for in the rider weight deck this is a card about somebody who's playing war out to the four of pentacles see the four of pentacles is a struggle between having stability but needing more right to the hermit doing some soul searching and some introspection about your persistence and resilience in some type of a commitment the fool in reverse were you foolish were you reckless to do this leo were you foolish and reckless to commit to whatever this is talking about the seven of cups right now you're thinking about options choices wishful thinking to the two of wands because there's fear of the unknown but you want things to work out with the star card you really do you want hope and faith and purpose and renewal tell me about this tell me about the fool in reverse please spirit tell me about the fool in reverse please the sun right the sun you want the card of leo you want happiness success and vitality in this situation wishful thinking though is it wishful thinking because i have fear of the unknown because i'm struggling with this commitment i really am struggling with this commitment i am dissatisfied with the way things are going i'm not even sure this is my wish anymore i'm not even sure if this satisfies me anymore and i'm in the hermit i'm doing some soul searching and some introspection okay i'm taking it back leo i'm not i'm going to read this from the top because i think it is it is um, being explained enough as we go for you to understand without me having to recap things okay so the reading starts now <laughs> if somebody wants to timestamp 8 30 okay all right so resistance resilience you've been resilient you've been really hanging on to this commitment you've been really really trying to work on this commitment but the four of pentacles says that there's not enough stability in the situation for you you're in the hermit energy doing some soul searching and some introspection because you're not really sure you're dissatisfied and you're not really sure this is your wish anymore the fool in reverse is like leo saying oh, was i stupid was i foolish to just even enter into this commitment was was i was i naive what 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 was i thinking what was i thinking to the seven of cups but your wishful thinking is that there can be happiness and vitality and success in this situation but you definitely have fear of the unknown right there you definitely have fear of the unknown the star tells me that you want hope and faith and purpose in this whole thing you do you do you do you do whoa and the seven of wands but it's a challenge for you leo it's a challenge it's a challenge to keep going and honoring this commitment because it's not satisfying again to the four of pentacles this is somebody that's on lockdown this is somebody that's not abundant this is somebody that has stability and structure but it's not enough stability and structure 
It's not enough satisfaction to the Knight of Pentacles. This, I do believe, is a feeling of Yeah, look, look, the Knight of Pentacles. This is things being boring. It's boring. It's stale. It's slow to move forward. You've been kind of like in a, in a counterclockwise perpetual motion right here, or even a clockwise motion, but you're not moving forward. It's just perpetuating, right? The Ace of Wands in reverse, you're, you, you're losing your ambition. You're losing your focus in whatever this commitment is that you're wishing um, perhaps you hadn't engaged in. The Fool in reverse. Again, Leo, am I foolish? Have I been reckless? Am I naive? The Ace of Pentacles wanting to manifest a brand new opportunity in this realm of commitment, whether this is a relationship, a job, a family, um, shit, maybe you're getting a pool put in the backyard and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> what did I do? Right? It just all depends on your situation. This is a general reading. I am sequestered to if, ands, or buts instead of who, what, where, when, why, and how if I was reading your cards, right? So whatever this is, you want to manifest a new opportunity, but there is opposition. There's opposition because if you manifest a new opportunity, you are going to lose your current opportunity. And this fills you with fear of the unknown. So you can't get out of the commitment that you made to have a to manifest a different commitment in your life because you'll lose the opportunity of the commitment that you have now. It's kind of a convoluted thing, Leo, right? It's kind of a convoluted thing. The high priestess, this is you in your subconscious mind and your intuition really trying to feel your way through this whole situation. Ten of Swords comes in and says, quite frankly, you'd like to put it to an end. You would. Quite frankly, you'd like to put it to an end, Leo to the emperor. You would like to put it to an end and take control of your life. Take control of the situation. You'd like to put it to an end and take control of the situation to the seven of swords in reverse. Um, you'd like to break free. You would. You would like to break free of this commitment. But you see in the center of this reading, is the lover's card. This tells me that this commitment is some kind of significant relationship in your life. Significant relationship. To the five of cups, a significant relationship that fills you with feelings of loss, regret, despair, disappointment. To the five of wands, conflict, challenge. Yeah. It makes you feel disappointed in your emotions and it makes you feel conflicted in your passions. Bunch of clarifying cards right here, right? Nine of wands in reverse. This is defensive and hesitant to the king of swords. Defensive and hesitant to speak your truth. Defensive and hesitant to make a decision to the seven of pentacles. Re re reflecting and assessing on the profit and reward, reflecting and assessing on if what you're investing into is going to bring you what you need from it. Five of Wands again, conflict, tension, loss, defeat, competition. To the Ten of Wands, this, this significant relationship in your life, this commitment to this significant relationship in your life that is not bringing you the happiness that you want it to um, is a significant burden and struggle. To the Lover's card, reiterating one more time that this is some kind of significant relationship in your life that is weighing you down, weighing you down. Tell me about this emperor over here just a little bit, spirit. Tell me about this emperor, Leo, wanting to take charge of the situation. The ace of swords, right? You're holding off from speaking your truth. 
because this is a significant relationship. Yeah, to, to the lovers clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Your love, this love relationship, this significant relationship in your life is disorganized. It's very, very disorganized. The Empress in reverse, talking about somebody being codependent on you to the Three of Cups, teamwork and collaboration. This Empress in reverse is also about stifled creativity. And I feel like this is directly attached to the Lover's card, to the Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. There's stifled, um, there is a creative block on teamwork and collaboration to the Knight of Cups. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Tell me about this Empress in reverse. Maybe you see yourself as the Empress in reverse. Maybe you see yourself as the Empress in reverse right here, um, codependent on this love situation, right? Codependent on this lovers, these two lovers cards right here. Codependent, um, but there is a creative block happening in this relationship. Teamwork and collaboration, right? That's what you want. Knight of Cups says you want to share your emotions. You want to share your feelings. But there is some kind of a blockage happening here with the other person or the other people involved in this situation. The Eight of Swords, right? Tied up in your mind, hard, thinking about what kind of action needs to be taken to change the dynamics of this situation to the world. This is closing out of a cycle. You want this cycle to close out. You want all of this despair to stop. Look. To the Four of Wands, right? You want harmony and happiness, stability and structure in the situation. But we have a Queen of Wands in reverse right here. Hold up. So you want structure and stability to the Knight of Swords in reverse, but things are just completely disorganized. Completely disorganized. This is a breakdown of communication. Um, this is just a completely disorganized situation to the Five of Cups, which leads you to lost regret, despair, and disappointment. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse, I'm going to be honest with you, the Queen of Wands in reverse is the crazy of the deck, okay? She is. Um, she's the kind of woman that, um, that will um, seek retribution where she feels wronged, okay? The Queen of Wands is self-centered. She's selfish. She's jealous. She's insecure. And I think this is who you're dealing with because it's clarified by the Nine of Swords, right? This person, this Queen of Wands in reverse, who is the person that, or at least one of the people that you are in this commitment with, they give you anxiety. You're up at night rubbing your head in the Nine of Swords, trying to wrap your mind around how you can bring a conclusion to this situation. I feel like you want this Queen of Wands in reverse to be happy, but this person is not happy. To the Three of Pentacles, you want teamwork and collaboration, but the Two of Cups comes in and says all you get is an imbalanced relationship. All you get is an imbalanced relationship. The Queen of the King of, of Swords wanting to speak your truth. To the King of Wands, you, Leo. To the Six of Wands, happiness, victory, progress, success. You want to come out of the battleground that is this relationship and have victory, progress, and success in this situation. You love this person. You do. You love this person and everything that's associated with it, but you see this person as not being happy, and you don't know what to do to make this person happy. You don't know what to do to make them happy, and you're very frustrated. Very frustrated. Nine of Swords in Reverse talks about hopelessness and despair. 
the four of cups this is you contemplating and reevaluating the situation to the prince of wands in reverse because you're so frustrated that there's not give and take in the situation the chariot this is you wanting to charge forward and change this situation to the alchemist manifesting you want to manifest prioritization with the two of pentacles right you want to turn this situation around from the nine of cups in reverse to the nine of cups upright you want wishes fulfilled comfort happiness and satisfaction you want everybody here to be happy you this other person but you feel extremely frustrated about how to make this happen eight of pentacles you want to engage and build something of substance you want to fix what the problem is here but you don't know what the problem is all you know is this person is unhappy not just unhappy but probably a bitch to you too right they're not or or, or an ass whatever a, a dude can be a bitch trust trust me <laughs> trust me um but this person is not only just unhappy but they're acidic they're acidic and they're sour and they and you don't know what to do to make this person happy seven of Pen seven of pentacles in reverse you want to change this situation so bad but you have lack of a long-term vision because you don't know what to do you don't know what to do to fix the situation so you just go into the four of pentacles energy right you just go into the four where's the four of pentacles there it is you just go into the four of pentacles energy and you just remain on lockdown you just put your head down you go to work you come home and you just hope that at some point this person is just going to pop out of this angry sour salty yuck energy and you just hope every day when you come home i hope things are different i hope things are different i hope things are different but they aren't they aren't you so badly want the ten of cups with this person you want your family to be happy you want the situation to be harmonious you want your kids to be happy but everything hinges on this queen of wands in reverse right here who you seem to not understand how to make happy you don't know what this person needs what this person wants and you just you you continue to continue in the four of pentacles energy um hoping that everything will get better but not knowing how to fix anything so anyway leo that's your reading and i am going to do an extended reading i'm going to do an extended reading on this queen of wands in reverse we're going to find out what this person's problem is and what it what you can do to um to fix the situation if anything at all sometimes we can't fix people leo so we're going to dive into an extended reading to see how you can make this queen of wands turn from the reverse into the upright two dollars and fifty cents if it's worth it to you follow me over to the other side and let's dive in and see what the hell is wrong with this person okay all right namaste leo